motorheads and devs, prepare to start your engines. I'm Samantha Cruz, and I'll tell you which connected cars are closest to the assembly line in this Mobile Minute. If you watch the latest Google I.O., you already know your dashboard is about to be commandeered by a smartphone. The question is, which one will it be? Apple was the first company to talk about infotainment systems when they announced iOS in the car. Although they didn't say much about it at this year's Worldwide Developers Conference, a lot of progress has been made, especially with their new name, CarPlay. CarPlay will give iPhone-owning drivers music, directions, and text messages through screen taps or Siri. However, there may be one thing slowing them down, their strict approval process. All apps must meet CarPlay and App Store requirements, leaving most developers stuck in the pits. While Apple sluggishly adds apps to the CarPlay market, Google has been leaning on the talented developers and auto industry leaders of their Open Automotive Alliance to make up for lost time. Android Auto may have been a little slower than CarPlay out of the gates, but their Google I.O. demo proves they've caught up to Apple. They showed how Google Now allows drivers to stream Spotify, answer texts, and get directions from everybody's favorite navigation app, Google Maps. The operating system also stays true to the look and feel of Android's new material design interface. It will be an incredibly smooth and attractive transition for Android users, which currently make up over 80% of the global smartphone market. Much like their belated entry into mobile phones, Windows has finally decided to enter the racetrack with Windows in the car. The good news for Windows is their operating system actually looks really nice. The bad news? They only hold 3% of the smartphone market. Microsoft better hope that 3% contains some serious car enthusiasts. Otherwise, they're likely to get lapped by Apple and Google. As Apple, Google, and Windows race to the dealership, BlackBerry has already won the race. Their QNX operating system is currently in 50 to 70% of the cars on the road, and it's the same system that runs beneath CarPlay and Android Auto. While Apple or Google stand in the winner's circle, BlackBerry will be counting their money in the air-conditioned luxury suite. It's still hard to say which company will take the checkered flag, but one thing's for sure, I'll be there to toast them. And that's your Mobile Minute.